just stole the patrol car. Up there, still a little ways. The waves. Are you kidding me? When criminals feel backed into a corner, sometimes stealing a police car seems like their only way out. But unfortunately for them, it never ends well. Here are four examples of when stealing a police car went horribly wrong. Starting with the case of 31-year-old Anthony Sanchez. On June 20, 2023, Sanchez leads Colorado State Police on a high-speed chase after intentionally ramming his car into several other vehicles. After using a precision immobilization technique to disable his vehicle, officers cuffed Sanchez before finding a gun in his car. But he'll now claim that it was his life that was in danger by his own girlfriend. Shot at me, and I don't know what the is going on. First, take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. Lift up. Okay. After he's placed in the back of a police vehicle, the officer makes a grave mistake with potentially fatal consequences. With Sanchez in the back seat, the officer leaves the key in the ignition and the vehicle unattended. It doesn't take a genius to guess what happens next. While in the back seat, Sanchez manages to tuck his handcuffed wrists under his legs and crawl into the front seat. And with the officer helpfully leaving the keys in the ignition, he takes the heavily armed cruiser for a spin. Oh, oh. He just stole the patrol car. Ohio has notified Penn County we need stops to shop for this vehicle. It has a marked patrol unit. Lights are activated. Get stop sticks out. As many sets as you can get. Coming at you, Jay. First car. Eastbound on the westbound lane. Eastbound on the westbound lane. 393. Coming up on stop sticks. He missed him. Continuing eastbound. With multiple units in pursuit, officers order stop sticks to be placed to immobilize the vehicle. Is that what she said? What's in the Nothing. Where are you you want me to take this? Okay. You got the keys in it? Good sticks. We got them. The sticks work to shocking effect as the stolen vehicle runs straight through and to a semi truck in the opposite lane. Sanchez later died from his injuries. The Colorado Bureau of Investigation claims an inquiry into the event is still ongoing. While stealing a police car is one of the craziest things a suspect can do, the only thing crazier is stealing two. On May 6, 2021, 33-year-old Xavier Cummings steals a Volusia County police vehicle only to leave Florida officers on a high-speed chase. Guys, give me your speed. We're about 105, 110, trying to catch up. They're still a little ways away. It's pretty good traffic. 
still south of that there one's got it if you want to call it. 10 3, 10 3, someone just pit him into the woods. But after a peat maneuver leaves the commandeered vehicle inoperable and officers begin to close in, Cummings proves he'll do anything to escape their grasp. Hey y'all, do not walk up on this car, we got enough people up here. Dog! Press the dog! Cummings emerges from the woods, running full tilt to steal an unattended police vehicle, his second of the day. Are you kidding me? That weapon's accessible in the cab. Any other vehicle dealing with them, lock your doors. As Cummings speeds away, officers get word and throw down spike strips up ahead. These will disable the vehicle, making it unsafe for Cummings to drive any further. Captain Williamson. All right, he's breaking for the median, guys. He's breaking for the median. Breaking for the median. Everybody slow down. Don't ball up here. It's underneath the over uh, the wires. Underneath the wires. In the median. There's going to be K-9 in the signal 10. 10-3, 10-3. Uh, we got one thrown down on the ground. With the vehicle now disabled, Cummings pulls over into the median and exits the vehicle, where he is then swarmed by police. Transport, transport. I say bottom of the Chevy. I say bear down in the highway. Oh, I say I can't pull down. I say Fred. Y'all say what? Watch your head. Volusia County. Fred Cummings, see you. Fred Cummings, see you. Go to jail. Cummings was arrested and taken into custody without incident. Police reports indicate he was high on crystal meth at the time of the crime and believed he had a consent to steal the cars by way of mental telepathy. He was charged with armed burglary, attempting to flee police, multiple counts of grand theft and driving with a suspended license. While Cummings may have had some extenuating circumstances in his case, the same can't be said about our next suspect. Please, I didn't steal it. <laughs> On March 30, 2018, Tulsa police pull over 36-year-old April Frost on suspicion of driving a stolen vehicle. I, I borrowed from Stephen Curtis. He told me that I could borrow it. I live right up at Studio 6. C-U-R-T-I-S? Yes. What's his first name? Stephen. I swear I did not steal this vehicle. While she claims to only have borrowed the car from her boyfriend, Stephen Curtis Turner, her actions certainly won't reflect that of an innocent person. Do you know how he got it? No, I, he bought it. Do you know that or you think just assuming it? I, I'm assuming it. He's never lied to me before. Okay. Ever. He lives over at Balboa Apartments on 51st and U. I had to move some stuff because I'm moving. Mm -hmm. And he said that I could, you know, if it's a stolen, I mean, you take it back and whatever. But I even have a witness that saw him pick me up in it today. Okay. So, I mean, I haven't done anything to the vehicle. Um, honest to God. Okay. I mean, I've worked with the police. Uh, you know? Okay. Uh, well, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll try to get to the does, bottom of it. If he did steal it, I'm going to have to go to jail and pay the price for it. Well, you'll... You're in a stolen vehicle. If he did steal it, you're in a stolen vehicle, which is the problem. But if you didn't steal it, then that'll come out in court. No, you don't understand. What don't I understand? 
the reason why I work with the police, yeah. like over on 11th and Garnett, and the uh, counterfeiting. Yeah. I work with the with them on it because I, if, if I go back to jail again, and that means prison for years. So yeah. I mean, okay, I have to listen. Up the road so and it, I calm, steal this car. Calm down. If if we can find out that Steven stole it, then and you you in it without knowing it, then it'll come out in court. I, you don't understand. I can't afford a lawyer. My numbers are on that. I don't. Please, I didn't steal it. April is adamant that she didn't steal the car and appears understandably terrified for potentially being framed for the crime. She claims to work with police as an informant on a counterfeiting operation, the truth of which is never confirmed. <laughs> If we talked to Steven, would he admit that if, you, if he stole it, do you think he'd admit it? Do you think he'd tell I, us and take I have no idea. Can I talk to the people what that people? own it? I don't know who the people that own it are right now. Well, apparently it's not him. That, apparently, right. But I don't know who they are. That I was just looking for that information right now. Can I, can I see my phone so I can call my witness? Not right now. April claims that a witness saw Stephen driving the car earlier in the day, but the officer won't allow her to use her phone to call them. Not right now. <laughs> but by how she'll describe their relationship, the chances of him being honest with police are slim. How long have you known Stephen? I've known him since the beginning of the summer, on and off. For, for when? Since when? The beginning of the summer. Okay, so um, almost a year now. Almost, yes. Okay. Um, how do you know him? Well, I know him from when I first got released from county. I came to um, this guy Mark's house, and he lived there. He lived with, how would you know Mark? I didn't know Mark. I knew Joey, which now lives in California, and he brought me to the house. Okay, so you met him through an, another acquaintance, say, or a friend? Yeah. Okay. What does he do? Uh, does he have a job? He said that he works for his uncle somewhere. He's gay and he talks like really loud because he can barely hear. And I honestly, I let it go in one ear and out the other. Honestly, what? I let it go in one ear and out the other. What, well, his job? What he says to me. Because it, he's rather annoying. Hmm? Asked him to borrow his car apparently, so. Well, because I had to move some stuff and I didn't want. He's annoying. I didn't want to hey, work with you. Well, like I said, I know where drugs if, are going on right now. If it's Stephen Kurt, well, that's what you're working with us on the other stuff, man, right? No. Are you saying you're a CI for the for somebody over 11th hey, and Garnett? Is that uh, what you're telling me? I told him things. I mean, I, I don't know if that's the correct term. Um, are you have you been are you in regular contact with somebody, a detective, or are you just talking about you've talked to patrol officers before about stuff? No, it wasn't patrol officers. Okay, so it was some some somebody some detective or something. It was the one in charge. I, I, I don't know what you're In charge of what? Over um, the, shoot, it was the uh, police station over off of Garnett, or no, 11th? Yeah, that's Mingo Valley. Okay, Mingo Valley. The sergeant or whatever? It's lots of sergeants. Lots and lots of sergeants. I'm trying to do the best that I okay, can. Okay, that's fine. Okay? That's fine. We'll, we'll I, figure I it out about uh, where you can get paper tags for cars that you're stole, that are stolen. Someone someone hey, given got a stack of them or making them in the in the at their house? I know all about that stuff. Yeah. And I do more than have to How do you know about that stuff? On it. How do you know about that stuff? Because I know a lot of people. Including Steven? Is he part of it? Um not of that, but of counterfeiting. Oh, yeah. yeah. Counterfeiting? April is vague when the officer follows up about her alleged work as a police informant, but appears to be intimately familiar with several known criminals, including Stephen. When asked about her large collection of burner phones in the vehicle, she'll have yet another curious excuse. It's quite a collection. They're mine. Uh, myself, my original cell phone got stolen. Those are ones that I have bought, like they're um, pay-as-you-go phones, okay. things like that. If I could talk to the owners, I mean, I, 
and like I said, I know where to get the paper. What would you say to the owners, just out of curiosity? Uh, what would I say to the owners? I'm sorry, I didn't realize that this car was stolen. I okay. asked for permission to borrow it. He told me that it was his car. I'm <coughs> sorry. All right, so here's the deal. Who's Steven to you? Well, he used to be a friend, but obviously I'm rethinking the whole friendship thing. And we're going to one of the back rooms. All right. Well, Stephen took the vehicle without permission, okay? <laughs> it was reported as stolen, okay? Oh. So you're in possession of it. I didn't know. Please. Not to mention your driving status is flagged. You're not even supposed to be driving, so you're going to jail. Please, what right. I think I can do. I work with them, please. I worked with them on um, 11 Things Arnett with uh, murders and the whole prostitution thing. Mm -hmm. um, the uh, Secret Service with the counterfeiting. Please, I told this officer where you can get paper tags and all that stuff. I will work with you guys. You know what? I didn't know, you know what? it was stolen. <laughs> Like I said, it was a sergeant I was talking to. Oh, it was She's a, talking about she talked to a sergeant at MVD. Um, All right, well, have a seat in my car. Please. It's a bad day to borrow a car. <laughs> April is informed that the car was in fact reported stolen. It was reported as stolen. But is unable to provide any additional information that would back up the informant's status. However, it will be Stephen and not April, who is listed as the suspect in the vehicle's theft. Is Steven listed as the suspect on the EMV? Yeah. See so if she can give it to us, give him to us. Yeah. She says she knows him, she borrowed the car from him. He's listed as a suspect. We could take her for what? No DL? This ain't gonna stick since he's the listed and she borrowed it from him. Saying she doesn't know. But if she can have him meet her and or, or give us tell us where he's at, we can go get him. Because he and and also it's a it's easy sell. She she's pulled over and all I think she's willing. I think she's willing to do what she needs well, to do. See, do you have anything better on her other than the you got to read the traffic. report. Report says the mom, I guess, found her keys. It was it was yesterday's date. It's yeah. a Thursday. You know, just not very long ago. So I think it was around three. Said that found her keys were missing. She found out that son took the car, and then when she talked to son, he said that she stole a car from him without permission. Oh, he said she, she's yeah. involved. Do you want to read the report? Yeah, yeah. The officer explains that because Stephen is listed as the suspect and then loan April the car, she could actually lead them to him. But he discovers the story isn't so black and white as April, too, is possibly involved. Is there any way that you can sit down and talk with me? I'm Just willing to let you guys know where there is a massive amount of fucking stolen vehicles, the dealerships to where they go and get them. The, dealership keys and the paper tags. We can talk into the owner of the vehicle. Do you know who the owner of the vehicle You keep bringing that up. Do you know who the owner of the vehicle is? No, but I'm sure they're reasonable. You said that Stephen took that car without permission. Okay. I didn't know it. He How do you, why would you assume they'd be, re why would, why would you assume they wouldn't think you were the one that took it? Because he had said that Stephen took the car earlier without permission. Yes, but there's no reason for you to believe that the owner of the vehicle would assume that you aren't the person that took it, and Stephen is. Unless you know something about it already. I just know my innocence. I wonder how much of this stuff is hers, because he slowed it down with a bunch of she said She said she's moving. It looks like. So. It looks like. So what are your thoughts here. after reading that report? So the mom said Stephen took it from her, mm -hmm. and he said she took it from him. Right. The mom's the only one that has a claim, that has the the ability to claim it was stolen from her. He doesn't because it's ne it wasn't his to begin with. Right. Uh, she definitely probably took it from Stephen. Right. I, I think that's possible, but the officer was never able to talk to him. That was secondhand information. It'd be tough to get this in a court to get this to stick on her. Stephen, I would assume that Stephen was just trying to hide it from mom by saying, oh, this girl took it. Probably. Because it's also possible that Stephen loaned it to her and said, yeah, just use it as long as you want. Because he knows it's mom's and he just wants it out of his hand so that way he has plausible deniability. 
so that he can claim, oh, she took it from me. I don't know where it is. Sorry, guys. That kind of bull crap they always pull on us. We need to do both of them. We could tell her to give us Steven and then take them both. Yeah. I wonder if Steven's down in Studio 6. After reading the report, it becomes clear that Steven has stolen the car from his mother and then reported it stolen from April, possibly in an attempt to set her up. But since Steven originally stole the car, the charges likely wouldn't stick to April in court. Unfortunately, the ones for her next actions very much will. April somehow manages to take control of the police vehicle, locking the doors before furiously speeding away. She leads them to a nearby apartment complex before abandoning the vehicle to flee on foot, leading them on yet another chase. She's wiry. <laughs> Apparently, she <laughs> His car is right there. I just told you that I didn't steal that car. You, you, just, stole you just stole a police car. No, I'm going to jail for over You just stole a police car in front of three police officers. <laughs> and they looted. <laughs> I've seen some stupid stuff, but my gosh. And you hit a car with it? You guys told me that I was going to jail for something that I did not do. You just stole a police car. Now I'm going to jail for something I did. Well, there we go. Silver linings. Is there any damage? April attempts to justify stealing a police vehicle in front of officers by claiming innocence for the initial crime in which she was stopped. It's a bizarre defense that, needless to say, won't hold up in a court of law. God, you are hateful. You just stole a police car uh, and drove yeah, like shit. Yeah, I went to jail because uh, I stole a car. You all were going to arrest me for stealing the black car. What you could have easily, what you could have got out of that charge if you didn't steal car. it. But then you stole a car I in front of us. I was willing to give up in drugs, everybody, the heads of all the mobs and the, the heads gangs, of the mobs. You got and that? All that. Shit. But you guys. Yeah, hey, hey, you know what? Our bad. Our bad. You stole a police. You know what? Don't pay for Our bad. Don't. Take some okay. accountability for your actions. I do take accountability for my actions. Did you actions. steal a police car? You know what? Did you? Give me an attorney. Answer the question. Give me an attorney. We that? saw you do it. No, you didn't see me do it. I did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Was the, did you think he was going to get inside before we got here? Well, fuck. No, we went and locked this entire like place down until we found you? Are those hypothetical questions, or do you really want me to answer? You don't have to answer, I guess. I'm just oh, curious. So they're hypothetical. Okay. That's all you have to say. I don't think you understand what hypothetical means. 
This yes, is literally a situation that happened, so it's not hypothetical. No, I'm talking about your question. Rhetorical? I think it's rhetorical is the word you're looking for. <laughs> rhetorical is a question asked that doesn't need an answer. Hypothetical is a question asked about some event that didn't really Thank happen. Thank you for the English lesson. You're welcome. Teacher. You're welcome. And stealing is yeah, what you did. Think about... This will be tougher to steal. This is one of our updated hard to steal models. If she can get it later. Ooh. Not even <laughs> mad. <laughs> Not even mad. I'm impressed. She slipped her cuffs to the front and then so we look up and she's like standing up and saying, What is she doing? And she just like hopped over the center right down into the seat. I like a freaking cat burglar, man. Like slow -mo, you're like, I was like, what? <laughs> Despite her skills, April pleaded guilty to multiple counts, including grand theft auto, possession of a stolen vehicle, escape from arrest, and driving under suspension. She was given a three-year sentence, 